St. Patty's Day! St. Patrick's Day festivities are on the rise. Last year, 2022 to 2023, we saw a 49% increase. So that's almost 50%. And we expect that number to keep rising. But if you want to get in on the revelry, you better get up early. New research by Eventbrite shows people are planning to party just as hard just starting earlier in the day. And Gen Z is driving that trend. Gen Z young people have really embraced wanting to bring people together, get their communities out, but do it at a respectable time. So you're seeing a lot of events kick off at one, but wrap at 8 p.m. So wrap early so people get enough time to get some shut eye. The push for daytime celebrations is also helped by landing on a Sunday, which is typically a work or school night. Roselli Ilano, Eventbrite's head of community, says those younger Americans are also looking for outdoor activities and unique experiences. You can join a St. Patrick's Day bike ride or a green river dying experience to watch the river turn green. Step out of your comfort zone, explore new experiences. So whether that's an Irish themed painting class, Irish dancing, traditional cooking class, lots of hobbies and passions to explore. 162 million Americans are planning to celebrate St. Patrick's Day this year, according to the National Retail Federation. And they'll not only be wearing green, but spending it expected to shell out a record $7.2 billion this year. That breaks down to about $44.40 a person. The bulk spent on food and beverages. You know, brunches, bar crawls. An overwhelming majority of Americans say they plan to participate in the luckiest holiday of the year by dressing in green. That's followed by making a special meal, going to a party, and attending a parade. In New York, I'm Alexis McAdams, Fox News.